What's going on guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be letting you guys know about the new event week. A new event week drops every Wednesday night about 2am. So starting off, Rockstar is giving everyone who signs into GTA Online from today, September 26th, to October 2nd, a free million dollars, which is really cool. Definitely invest in that wisely. The double monies are the MOC missions and the new survival missions, which are pretty difficult. So I want to show you guys this one here, which is my personal favorite completely solo and the best way to complete them without dying. Also I'd like to say thanks to everyone who viewed my last video. It almost doubled um, the views that I got in the prior video so I thank you guys all for that. So without any further ado, let's get right into the video. Alright so getting started, the first thing I want to let you guys know is that all the survivals aren't double money and it's only the new ones that were released last night. I want to tell you guys this because I don't want you wasting your time doing one that you think is double money when it's actually not. The way you can tell if it's double money or not, you see in the top right corner where it says two times RP and two times cash. That's how you can know whether it's worth doing or not. Alright, so the next thing you guys are going to want to do is come into ammunition, come over to the armor, get super heavy armor and max that out or whatever armor you have unlocked. Next you want to go over to get the ammo. I recommend getting ammo for the RPG, the homing launcher, the tactical shotgun, and the bullet shotgun. The tactical is better in this mission, but the bullet is still really good. I prefer the tactical, but I want you guys to try out which you think is better. You can also let me know in the comments. Next, we're going to make our way into our CEO office. If you don't have this, you can always go to a store, which is here to get snacks. It's better to get in your office for two reasons. One, because it's free. And two, because they don't run out of stock. If you go to a store, sometimes it'll say out of stock and you won't be able to fully, fully fill up your inventory. Snacks are very important, just like body armor and ammo. We will definitely be needing a lot of it. So the next thing you're going to do is go hit the start button, go to jobs, go to play job, Rockstar created, and survivals. The best one to do is farmhouse survival so I'll show you guys how to do that right now so once you load in the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to immediately run inside just like this there's a little bit of health right here if you need it in the future make your way through here and go right upstairs once you're upstairs you're going to go ahead and post up on this wall right here and pull out either the bullet or the tactical shotgun. Like I said, I prefer the tactical, but the bullet is still really good. Right here is the tactical, and this is wave one. Wave one is pretty simple. A few people come up and usually just one shot, shoot them in the head. You get 25 RP for each kill that you get. Um, I fast forwarded this clip just to save a little bit of time, but I wanted to show you what the, uh, what the enemies were like and how much health they had. So that's this. There's wave one complete. We had 10 people on that mission. In that wave, I'm sorry. So between the waves, you can do one of two things. You can either wait right here and just wait for the next wave to start. Or you can come down here, right down the steps, and you can grab this armor. It's not it's not the best armor, but hey, it's free, and it'll help you out in the long run. And the main tip I can give you guys for this is to conserve as much snacks and as much armor as you possibly can. So here's the start of round two. Fast forward this clip as well just to save a little bit of time. But I wanted to show you what the bullet rifle will do to the enemies in uh, wave number two. The bullet rifle is more of a pump. It just shoots a little bit faster. The reason I like the tactical is because it's uh, when you reach around this corner here to do that, all you do is just hit the shoot button and don't hit the aim. It just makes it um, so if you miss the first shot with the bullet, uh, you don't have to repump it and they could get up on you and possibly kill you. Enemies in this mission, they do a lot of damage. That's what makes it pretty difficult. So if, they, uh, if they hit you one time, it's almost your entire armor gone. So there we go. I skipped to wave 3. 24 kills on wave 3. In case you guys were wondering, wave 2 has 17 enemies. So here we are on round 4 now. This wave... Um, it's, it's a, it, this is the first time I noticed where it's a little bit harder. Uh, people start getting more clumped up. So you have two to three people coming up the stairs at this time. And also they take a little bit more shots. So you have to hit them in a pretty good decent shotgun shot for them to kill them. If you hit them in their feet, it, you'll have to shoot them twice. Like prior rounds, if you shot them in their feet, it would only take one shot. 
So I'm going to go ahead and let this clip play off a little bit here. I wanted to give you a few tips um, and things that I noticed when I was, I was playing all these. Um, the main thing that makes this difficult is, like I said before, the, uh, the damage that the enemies can do. The second is the patience you need. It's This is not the most noble way to do this, or it's not the most fun. I get that, but this is what will make you the most money, because you are paid off of how long you take in the mission, not high of, how high of rounds you get. Um, that's why I believe that this is the best method. I also haven't seen another YouTuber make a video on this, so I thought I would let you guys know um, my, my personal opinion on the best way to do this. Which also makes Wave 4 different is you encounter your first helicopter. So as you can see right there on the map, you want to do it when it's right behind you. So you can come right on this balcony and easily take it out just like that. Nice. One shot and he's down. That's the best way to do it is when the helicopter is right behind you. So you don't have to go through a window and uh, possibly... Uh, and risk possibly hitting the window and blowing yourself up. So as you can see, that guy snuck up behind me right there. And we should take him out really quick, nice and easy. So I fast forwarded this clip again to show you the enemies on wave four. This is now the tactical shotgun. The tactical shotgun, like I said, is my favorite. So at the end of round four, this is where we've been playing um, for about 20 minutes now. I came down to show you to to get a little bit of better feel of how the enemies are. And as you can see, he came right by, he came right next to me and didn't even look at me. So the enemies are are definitely questionable sometimes so as you can see right there for round four we got 33 33 enemies if you come through that where i just went on that balcony right there there's a health pack it will give you a little bit extra health so we're coming back up here for the start of wave five this is going to be the last wave that i do because i wanted to test this on 30 minutes time and see how it compares to um, if you were doing a headhunter or sightseer that only takes about two or three minutes so I didn't want to do this for an hour or as long as I possibly can until I died If you guys want me to make an extra video on that I definitely can I'm definitely down I think these are pretty fun and I wouldn't mind sitting here maybe on a live stream or something like that and going as far as I possibly can So definitely let me know in the comments if you're interested in that and I'll definitely do it So I speed up the clip again here to show you guys how the tactical shotgun does in round five because the, the enemies do get a little bit stronger i can tell as the mission goes on so also i'm looking at the map right now and i'm seeing the helicopter on the map and i'm trying to pinpoint where it's going to be behind me with the best time and i also am looking at the map to make sure that there's nobody coming up the stairs when i'm doing this so personally i think the rpg is better to take out the helicopter because the, RP the the helicopter moves around the house a lot and sometimes the homing uh, launcher miss misses and you don't really have time to be out there missing because people could be coming up the steps uh, behind you while you're doing that right here i wanted to try out the pump shotgun for you guys and see how good that was so as you can see this is why i don't like it because if you miss one shot they could easily just run up the stairs and then uh shoot you while you're still reloading it so that's why i like the tactical the best and then the bullet the second and then third, if I had to pick one, would probably be either the, the pump action or the up and atomizer. I tried them both, and I didn't really include the up and atomizer because, one, it's really expensive for new players, and two, I also don't think it's the best for this mission. Alright, so I'm reaching my 30 minute limit. Like I told you guys earlier, I was going to play this for 30 minutes to see how much we can get for 30 minutes of work. And I also wanted to show you guys how strong these, these enemies actually are. So I have full health and full armor. Look, armor's gone. And done. I was actually even trying to kill them right there. I wasn't just going out there to die, just to, I was being 100% honest with you guys. So, reach wave 5, we got 39,150 and 3,138 RP. Personally, I think this is a pretty fun mission. It definitely uh, switches it up for the usual grinding. Personally, I'm probably not going to do these again unless you guys want me to to make another guide on one. The reason for that is because I could easily complete a headhunter now that they're back to regular money in two minutes, make $20,000, source a top range car, sell it, and then up to $100,000 in just about seven to eight minutes of work, which uh, making making $100,000 in seven to eight minutes and then having to spend 30, 000, or, I'm sorry, 30 minutes to make uh, 40000 ju it just isn't worth it to me. Um, I, def I think they are definitely fun, and if you guys want to try them out, I, I definitely recommend you to because they're it's a good time. And you can also um, have some friends join you and see just how uh, high rounds you can get. 
I personally would have no more than three people because, especially on that one, because there's not many places to go, um, where you're where you are that covered like you are at the top of the stairs. So that's why I recommend no more than three people. You could have two people on the sides of the entrance to the stairs, and you can also have one more person just uh just floating around and killing any other people. So one of the show you guys here is that you actually are paid for how long you're in the mission. Um. You're not paid for how many rounds you you complete. I'm gonna show you that right here. So we're gonna start this job up. All right, here we are spawned in. I'm gonna show you guys real quick. I'm gonna go to the end of the mission and I'll meet you guys there. All right, here we are. We've been playing the uh, wave one for about four minutes. We're gonna let this guy kill us and see how much money we get. Survival failed. Reach wave one and look. So we don't get any money for that. So that just proves you only get paid for the amount of time that you're in the mission. Alright, so I guess that's going to be the end of my guide here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to turn on post notifications and follow me on Twitter. The link will be in the description. Thank you guys all so much, and I'm out.